Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. Uh, I'm your host Shane, and today we're going to be talking about the Liberty ROM for gingerbread. Um, Jay Romy has been nice enough to donate us the toolbox uh, so that I can do a review of this ROM. Um, so guys, you want to support Jay Romy. This is the developer of the Liberty ROM, and uh, what you'll do is go to the marketplace and download the toolbox the donated version for five dollars and this gives you access to uh, the gingerbread ROM from Liberty it's not available to the public yet it's still in beta but we are on the fourth version so it's very stable uh, it's about as complete as it's going to be he just has a few little more customizations that he has to add to it before it's released to public uh, I would expect a public release here in the next few weeks uh, but if you want to try it out now go to the marketplace download that donated version and show him your support. And so we'll go ahead and jump into my preview of the ROM. Uh, as you see that's a wallpaper that you're probably used to with Liberty. Uh, but we'll go into some of the features here. Uh, when you download that donated toolbox this is what you're going to get here. Um, you have the ROM manager and you saw that in the free version but you have a few more options here. You have nightlies um, from now on, if you're on the donated version, you're going to get more updates to your ROMs and you're going to get them a whole lot more quickly. I know before we used to have to wait a month or so for a new version of the Liberty ROM and now he's been updating these once every week or so and uh, just customizations and tweaks. The way that you install the new Liberty ROM is by going into the donated toolbox, uh, going into the ROM manager selecting nightlies and if you're on Froyo you'll have to come down here to this version 1 um, and then you'll see right here use this if you're on Froyo and so that's the one that you would use if you're on gingerbread you can go ahead and do Liberty Gingerbread version 0 0.4 now when you click that it's going to take it a while to download you probably want to be on Wi-Fi it is 172 megabytes but as soon as it's finished downloading it's going to pop up an option uh, to back up your current ROM and to wipe data cache. You want to select wipe data cache definitely you may or may not want to back up your ROM I would suggest that you do it's going to take it a little longer to load up um, if you do select that because it will have to back up your ROM uh, but definitely you will have to wipe your data if you're not already on Liberty um, so click on that, select wipe data, and then it's going to go directly into Clockwork. You don't have to boot up your D2 bootstrap or anything like that. It's just going to take you directly into Clockwork. It's going to do its thing, and when it's finished, it'll reboot, and you'll have Liberty on your phone. It's that simple. Liberty pretty much removes uh, the need for bootstrap. You see, you can install bootstrap right there from the ROM manager. Uh... You can also install things from the SD card, themes, um, different customizations, things like that directly from the SD card. If you go to download ROM, you're going to see themed apps there and then also fonts. There's about a hundred or so different fonts. And like I said, this is not completed. I'm sure that J. Rummy and Team Liberty are going to add a lot of things here. They have uh, Mobile Sensei. He is their themer. And he puts out all kinds of cool themes, so follow him on Twitter, Mo Mobile Sensei. Uh, you've got all kinds of things here. you got your app management. And you can back up, restore apps, remove apps, apps to SD, Liberty Mods. They have um, animations. These are just transition animations. And then you have boot logos. There's several different boot logos to choose from. The one that it comes from is pretty cool. It's just a yellow fist. Uh, build properties. You can install fonts. Pull down bar editor. Icon picker, which is cool. They have, um, you can select like your themed icons there. And then also they have battery icons. So if you want your percentage to display in uh, 10%, then you can do it that way. And of course, if you go into Liberty Tweaks, there's all kind of different settings. Ad blocker, cache manager free, memory, manage your boot 
uh, animation miscellaneous. You can clear your market history, and there's all kinds of different things there. Okay, and then also if you go into settings, then you'll have liberty settings. And this is what's cool about this newest version of the Nightly here. You have your liberty customizer. So basically you're building your own personal ROM. So click continue, and you can select uh, whatever you want here. You can select your own launcher. You can select whether you want blur text messaging. I have AOSP messaging. And you can select your music app, your calendar app. Uh, you can select your clock, you can select your camera, and your gallery, your email apps, the car dock, and then there's uh, several add-ons that you can select here. And of course I know that there's a whole lot more to come. This is just, like I said, this is in beta and it's not totally completed here. Uh, you can enter your pull-down text and apply. And of course all you have to do is hit apply and it does it for you. Uh, there's several different things there. Uh, this is probably your first legitimate ROM. I know that Apex is out in the wild and Fab is uh, working on that. But that's also in beta. Uh, P3 Droid is working on Tranquility. This is probably the most complete ROM that you're going to find out there right now is Liberty for Gingerbread. Um, all the bloatware has been removed. You saw that you could add some more of the blur features in there if you wanted them. Um, it's very quick. I was getting quadrant scores of around 2,000 without overclocking. Um, okay, I'm going to reboot later. Let's see. You have overclocking built into your Liberty settings. And you have your spare parts there. And... Uh, all kinds of different things, free memory, clear cache, and fixed permissions, they're all there for you. And it's real easy to install your themes through the toolbox. And like I said, everything is super fast here. I'm on my ADW launcher. And everything is just blazing fast with this ROM. So uh, go to the link in the description and there will be a link to that donate toolbox and I'm also going to keep you posted on the public release at that link in the description so if you don't want to pay the five dollars right now um, if you're not going to pay for the toolbox you probably do want to at least go to Team Liberty and donate a dollar or so show your support because they do a lot of hard work um, but if you're waiting for the public release go to that description I mean the link in the description and uh, I'll keep you updated with that thanks guys Intoxicated